Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and this is a quick answer to a question I got about one of my plugins, the Zoom and Highlight plugin. So basically here, what we want to do is take the Zoom and Highlight plugin, which we can drag onto the clip here, and this is available on my Gumroad site. You can check out the links below. And basically with this plugin, we can move this little box to any point in our video. We're just going to highlight this gentleman up at the top here and we can highlight them with a square or a circle and essentially what it's doing is it's just muting out the the back of the image there and we can also add a tint to it and stuff like that and we can then enlarge that particular part of the image and then we can also uh, reposition it too but the question i had was about whether we can actually get this to follow the person as they walk through the scene. Now I've just updated this so that we can do that. So we're gonna delete this and start again. So we'll just drag the effect on again. We'll change it to a circle and then we'll move it up to this gent here. And essentially what we're gonna do is we are gonna keyframe the position of this. And we can do that using the center option here. So we can hit the plus option there on the keyframes in the inspector. And then we can play this through. And now either by using the, the Y option here or by moving the on-screen controller, we can reposition where that is going. So we'll just follow them all the way down here. We may need to enlarge this just a little bit. I'm trying to make as few keyframes as possible, but you can see it's following him up to there. And then we'll follow him just see almost off the screen. And then we'll keep going. And we'll move this now just using this center option up here off the screen so it disappears. So basically we have this highlight really easily added, keyframing the center of it in the inspector. And you can see when it just kind of slips out of position there, we can just come back and nudge it into position. Now, what I'd recommend you do when you're doing this is just right click on your clip and go to show video animation. And that will just mean you can see how many keyframes you've got and you just don't want too many there. So we can enlarge it a little bit here just so that we're not having to remake that a lot. So if we come back to the beginning here, now what we can do is we can zoom in and I'm going to let this play through here and then after he's taken this step I'm going to add a keyframe for the zoom scale and this is kind of neat we'll let it play through and now we'll scale this up so you can see this is going to play through and then it's going to zoom in so we get this zoomed in version of him walking through so Really easy, add the zoom and highlight plugin if you have it, and then we can keyframe the position of it, the center of it, and then also increase the scale at a certain point in time if we want to. And there's other options in here as well. So we've got a background fill color that we can add in here as well, which is basically like a tint to the background. So we add a little blue there, and then we'll just be making a little bit more contrast between the background image and our gentleman who's definitely not doing anything sinister, just walking through the train station or something um, in our video. Okay, quick overview of something for the Zoom and Highlight plugin. If you have any questions about it, drop me a message below. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, yeah, definitely go and check out the plugin.